Hi, I'm Mike, Pokey Tips Mike, and welcome back to episode number four of my Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I love doing this. This is so much fun. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series. So last time, we went through the town of Moto Stoke, cleared all the important story events there, and today, we're going to be going forward, hopefully getting to our first gym and catching lots and lots of new Pokemon. But before we start, I want to make this game a little bit more challenging. So behind the scenes, I modified the EXP again, and now Pokemon I beat are only going to give me about 20% of the EXP that they normally should, because again, we're getting pretty overleveled compared to our opponents, which is going to happen because the trainers have more Pokemon than usual now. But to keep it challenging, I want to use a lot more of my weaker guys. So I'm bringing back Hermione right now, or weaker girls too. And I'm going to put away Buckbeak, I'm going to put away Barty, my little Minecraft Colossal here, and I think this will be the team for the episode and then whatever we start to catch. And you know what, we'll even put our newest member, Voldemort, right in front of the team. Now I'm probably going to immediately regret this decision, putting away my strong Pokemon and using my weak team members, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's jump on over here to Route 3 and catch a brand new Pokemon. And wow! Okay, there we go, we're getting ourselves a Draco Zolt. I saw one last episode, one of the trainers had it, I saw one on Route 1, and now it's our encounter for Route 3. This is awesome, this is another one of those Pokemon where I just have not used it yet because Sword and Shield are so new. So what we're gonna do here is go for Confusion. It's gonna be a pretty strong Confusion, but Draco's ult, I feel like that could take a hit or two. Yeah, that's right. It's charging. Now that's a little scary because I think that doubles the amount of damage an electric type move will do the next turn. So let's hope it doesn't have a really strong electric type move. The wild Pokemon still should have like their normal moves for the level. So I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed we're good here. Yeah, Thundershock. It's gonna do a lot compared to a normal Thundershock, but honestly, that's not a lot of damage at all. Now let me see. Can I do one more attack here and get it into the red zone? I kind of want to. Yeah, let's risk it for the biscuit. We'll go for Metal Claw right here. It's not very effective, so good. Very good. Almost in the red zone. And we're dodging the tackle, so you know what? We'll do one more Metal Claw. I really want this thing in the red before I throw any balls at it. Nope. Wow, we're dodging the tackle again! I don't know how I get so lucky and I dodge all these attacks, but you know what? Let's go for another Metal Claw. Now, please don't give me a critical hit, Voldemort. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you so much. This is exactly where I want it to be. Eh, let's try just a regular Pokeball. Let's go with the old classic right here. Nope. Alright, let's go for a Nest Ball with that special Team Rocket logo on it. Come on, Team Rocket, give me your energy. That's one. Come on. Yes? Nice, we got him. That's the key to catching Pokemon. Just use Rocket Balls. Look how low that EXP is. <laughs> I think I might have gone a little too far in a few places here. Alright, let me tell you, naming this thing was probably the toughest name I've had to come up with the whole randomizer. We're going with the Harry Potter theme, but I've never seen any of the Fantastic Beasts movies, so I feel like there's probably something fitting from there, but I'm gonna name this Draco Zolt Norbert. In the first Harry Potter book, Hagrid actually had a little pet dragon named Norbert, and I figure since this thing is a dragon, it's fitting. So that'll be its name, and let's see. Oh, there we have the Muna again! What could have potentially been our starter, and then we have the Pawniard over there. We'll check this route out a little bit more. I definitely want to heal up before we explore some more, though. All right, we are all healed up and ready to go. I hear a Pikachu over there. There's another one. That would have been a cute encounter. And let's just check this little... Okay, I was going to try to check that spot, but I guess it doesn't want to happen. Got an Excelgore chasing me, but what's in the grass? Ooh, a ball toy. Okay, glad that wasn't my encounter. Alright, so let's keep going. Oh, there's a trainer. You know what? Let's battle you. I am very scared of this battle because now we are absolutely going to be underleveled or at least very close in level to the trainers, but it makes it more fun. So let's fight this last over here who's sending out the Dusclops. Not the best matchup for me already. Alright, you know what? We have not used Ron in a long time, so we'll bring out Ron and there I go using my highest leveled Pokemon already, but Dusclops is a threat. So let's see, oh yeah, Phantom Force. We don't want to take that. We definitely do not want to take a super effective Phantom Force. Now hopefully this thing is faster than me, that would really work in my favor here. Yes, it is faster than me. So how much is this going to do? A lot to run. That is a lot of damage, very scary. And Bites, on the other hand, is not doing as much as I would like it to. At least if it goes for Phantom Force again, that move is telegraphed. We're gonna know that it's coming at us. So I'll try going for a Bite here in the odd chance it goes for something else. Yes, like Defog there. 
The trainers are supposed to be smart. I don't know why you'd go waste a turn using Defog right now. You had me backed into a corner and you just blew it. All right, now we have her in KO range. Let's try going for Bite a third time. Yes! Yes! Why? <laughs> I don't know why you're going for that, but I'll take it. Dust Clops down. And yeah, these guys are getting no XP at all. This is definitely going to keep us around the same levels. And Raboot! Ooh, look at that blue Raboot, though! That's not a shiny! I guess that's just how Raboot looks nowadays. It looks a little different from the last time I remember it. Alright, we might as well just finish up Raboot with uh, Ron while Ron's out here already. What move is this? Set up a Shell Trap. Why do I feel like I know what this move is? Huh? Okay, I just looked that move up, and I am so glad that we missed right there with Sand Tomb. If we went for Sand Tomb and it used Shell Trap, that would have killed us. Here we go, we're going for it again. So, basically, Shell Trap, if you don't know what that move does, because I had no idea what it does, it's the signature move of Tortinator, and basically, at the beginning of the turn, this Pokémon sets up a little trap for you, and if you hit it with a physical move, it'll retaliate at the end of the turn with a 150 power fire attack move on you. So, coming from a Raboot, which is a fire type, that would have absolutely killed us, but it only works if we hit it with a physical move, which Sand Tomb is, but Mud Slap actually isn't, so as long as we just go for Mud Slap here, we're good. We're immune from that Shell Trap. So please, Raboot, keep trying, but oh my gosh, we, we're getting so lucky. They missed all those tackles in the beginning, and we missed the Sand Tomb. Again, if we got the Sand Tomb off on this thing, and it survived, we would have lost Ron right there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The things that you see in randomizers, guys. That's absolutely insane. Ugh. She says she lost, but she's still excited. She looks more angry than excited. I don't know about that. Lots of Pikachu everywhere. This is like Pikachu Valley right here. All right, there's another trainer, but I want to grab this item. Heal Balls. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe we'll use them someday. Okay, going into another trainer battle. The only Pokemon that has any damage on my team right now is Ron, so I think we'll be fine going into this. Let's talk to you, or you could talk to us. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Wow, you're going to do really well in life. That's the trick right there. Study, study, study. And here's another ghost type. They're sending out all the ghost types, which could be the problem now. I don't have anything good for ghost types on my team. And on top of that, it's Ghost Dragon, which I now realize that five out of the six of my Pokemon on the team have a weakness to. Voldemort, Willow, and Gryffindor are all weak to Ghost, and Hermione and Norbert are weak to Dragon. So once again, <laughs> the only Pokemon that we could send out right now that would have any sort of chance of not coming into a super effective move would be Ron. Alright, let's go ahead and try bringing out Willow. I think Willow's the only one I want to bring out into this. Even Ron right now, being at close to half health, I don't feel comfortable switching Ron into this. It's holding a big pearl. If only I had the move Thief, I would be able to steal that from him. Oh, Nightshade, that's not bad. It's only going to do damage based on its level, so only 14 damage. Yeah, I, I'll, I'm totally okay with that. So, let's go for Shadow Claw. Uh, yeah, keep going for that Nightshade. Keep throwing that shade at me. I can take it. I can take it. Now, Willow, I want you to get a crit here and knock this thing out. Yes? Did you get the crit? No, we didn't even need the crit. There we go. There we go, Willow. Nice. And your second Pokemon is an Inkay. Yeah, that's our- Oh, shiny! Look at that. I actually really like that shiny. I don't think I've seen this Pokemon shiny ever before, and it's kind of cute. So this thing has that cool typing of Dark and Psychic, so it can be annoying right now and, you know, hit me with a Dark-type move. But I have faith in Willow. Almost one-shotting it. What's it gonna go for? Fire Lash! That's weird seeing that thing use Fire Lash. Ooh. Ooh, wait, what does this do? Okay, it lowers my defense. We should be good. We should be able to go for a Shadow Claw and knock this out. Good. I was worried it was gonna have like a Quick Claw or something, Speed Tie, and go first, and we'd lose Willow there. Oh, now you get the critical hit. Now that we don't need it, you get the critical hit. Well, I guess that's alright. Let's keep on going. Ooh, we got Phalanx over there, Muna once again. It's funny how often we run into Muna. What was that thing that popped up? So many Whimsicott over out that way. Uh, let's keep going. I know there's a trainer near the uh, wrong way. I should know better than this. I know there's a trainer near the end of the route that heals up my Pokemon. Let me see if I could walk by this guy. Yeah, I don't think he could see me over here. We'll just run by all these Whimsicotts. And... Oh, there's Sonya! Hey, you gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? I, I, I have no idea. That kid's always running really fast. 
He can't sit still at all, can he? Yes, he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something a bit interesting. Blah 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 mines, blah 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 Chairman Rose, blah 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 energy, something like that, right? Oh, she actually heals our Pokémon. There we go. Now, the escape rope in this game is kind of weird. They turned it into a key item, so you could use it as much as you want, which is kind of cool, but you basically have nowhere to use it. You could use it in the mine, but the mine is like one directional, so you can't really get lost in there. All right, so we have Frostmoth, we have Drifloon, we have Electrike. Stop chasing me. Go away. Go somewhere else. Thank you. And, uh, we're gonna dodge the police guy over there. We fought enough battles. Let's keep moving on. Oh, I guess we have to battle you. Never mind, we have to fight some more. Oh, there's that awesome trainer battle music again. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has strong points and weak ones. Well, thank you for dropping that knowledge. Between you and Hop telling me all about type matchups, I feel like I'm becoming a really good Pokemon trainer. Nickets! Ooh, shiny Nickets! I love the way that shiny looks. I know I've used that in the video thumbnail before. But why? Why? <laughs> You're sending out a dark type! I just want to use Voldemort, and I want to be able to use it without switching. Let's go ahead and use Hermione here. I don't think I've really given Hermione a chance to shine yet. So what are you gonna go? Sludge Wave. Seriously? Did you predict that I was gonna switch into a grass type or something? That was, uh, that was a good move right there. Alright, Hermione's got the bulk, so Hermione can absolutely take another one of those, but I don't really want to take another one of those. Now, speed-wise, I don't think it's gonna be too fast, so I would think about going for a uh, headbutt and trying to flinch it, but I think we're gonna be slower than it, so I'll go for Leech Seed. Yeah, you're gonna go for Sludge Wave again. A miss would have been nice. Hermione's down to 14 HP. What? Oh, okay. That's how we're gonna do this. I want it to miss, but I miss instead. That's cool, I guess. Again, all I'm trying to do is just use different Pokémon this episode. <laughs> but nothing wants to work out for me. So we're gonna bring out Gryffindor. Hopefully it goes, yes, good. We're immune to that. Good plays. And you know what? Let's try Fury Cutter. That should be super effective against this thing. Oh, it has Assurance, which is gonna do nothing, even though it's super effective, because we are really, really good. We're very defensive. So let's keep going for that Fury Cutter. This does more damage every time we use it. So if we could keep stacking this up, We'll have a good time, especially if you send out another Pokemon weak to bug. Alright, youngster, I want to see you send out a Psychic-type Pokemon right now. I feel like I made the EXP a little too low. I don't know. Alright, a Ghost-type. Sinistee. Is this the authentic one, or is this the knockoff one? I can't really tell right now. Alright, I don't think Fury Cutter would be a good idea here. We'll go for Shadow Sneak instead. How much is this going to do to this little teacup? Almost taking it out. Nice job. Ooh, weak armor. That raises the speed, right? Yeah. And you're gonna fire Nightshade off at me again. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. That's like the least scary move you can do. I was worried it would have Shadow Ball. Get that teacup out of here. Okay, good. That actually gives us a decent amount of EXP. I guess this is what 20% EXP looks like. Oh, Frostmoth again. I wish this could have been our encounter for the route. This would have been so much fun. I am doing something with Snom though. You guys will hopefully see that soon. All right, and now let's make our way over to the Galar Mine, but before we do that, I think this lady heals our Pokémon up, so yes, cool. Give me that good heal, thank you so much, and we'll be able to get another brand new Pokémon inside of this mine. So what is our encounter going to be in the Galar Mine? And it was an Indeedee. No, this thing's going to try to run into me first. I know that Indeedee popped up before this, though. So, let's run away from the bear, and let's go get this Indeedee thing. I've never, once again... All these Gen 8 Pokémon, I have not really used them at all. Now, I was kind of hoping we'd get something else as our encounter in here, because that's the last thing we need. Oh, Encore. I didn't even use a move yet. Calm down. Calm down. But the last thing we need is another Pokémon that's a Psychic type. Like I just said a few battles ago, we have a weakness right now. And this is not helping me out at all. Huh. So we got the special attack boost with Charge Beam. I think we could get one more in, though. That's not going to kill right now. Stored power. Voldemort doesn't care about your stored power. And, okay. Okay, we should be in Pokeball range right now. So let's go ahead. I want to save my Nest Ball, because I believe once we get out of here, there's another route we could catch something on. And if we get something cool there... Uh, if we get something really cool there, I want to make sure I have the balls to catch it. Come on, old DD. You gotta get in one of these balls eventually. Come on now, don't make me attack you again. Wow, we have not gotten a single shake yet. It was literally easier to catch the Necrozma 
than it was this thing. All right, what is this, Pokeball number five? Can we at least get a shake this time? There we go, that's one shake. All right, that's all I, uh, that's all I want. All I want. We got him! And you know what, this looks kind of like a Cedric to me. So I'm gonna name this Cedric after Cedric Diggory. Do I want to use this thing on my team though? That's the question. Taking a look at it, it's not bad. Its stats are decent, but it doesn't really add anything new to the team right now that I really need. It is also part normal type, but I don't really care about that right now. So I think we'll stick with these guys. I'm just gonna run out of the cave real quick, get another free heal, and we'll come right back in here. At this point, we just gotta hope that we get something really good on Route 4. And <laughs> Every time I walk in here, I always encounter that bear. Okay, we have a barboat just sailing along on the rail tracks over there. You do you, buddy. And I think the way to go, wait, is it this way or do we keep going? No, it's this way. Ooh, oh my god! What? <laughs> yes, that is. That's just a casual Marshadow walking around inside of the Galar Mine. Again, not really something we need right now, but that would be cool. That would absolutely be a cool encounter. Well, let's run away from you, Marshadow. Bye bye, but uh, I guess we can't run away. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. Don't hurt me. Thank you. Oh, now that Noivern over there. I would... Huh? Primarina? Primarina and Golitz. <sighs> Why? Why are all the cool encounters deeper here in the cave? That thing's whistling at me. It's saying, please, be my trainer. But I can't catch it, guys. Can't catch it. Nuzlocke rules forbid me from catching something that wasn't the first Pokemon that I see. So again, I have to run away from all the cool Pokemon. I think this is the salty episode. This is the episode where I get very salty at having a bunch of Pokemon that are all the same type. So let me take it out on this trainer over here, Worker Sandra. Ralts. I was kind of hoping this was going to be a shiny Ralts. I love the way shiny Ralts looks. All right. So again, not the greatest matchup in the world, but I think Voldemort finally will get, you know, their chance to shine here. I think we could do good work against this Ralts, especially if we get the special attack boost. Yes. Yes, Voldemort, that's the path to victory right there. Uproar. You can do that. That's okay. Ralts is causing an uproar. Let's just keep going for Charge Beam. I would love another special attack boost. Give me like one more and we'll be able to take out the whole team with just Voldemort. No, we didn't get one there. That's all right, though. One boost is good enough. Ooh. Ooh, not liking that health, though. Really not liking that health. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have went for Charge Beam there. We hit it, but I know it has, like, a, a decent chance to miss. Oh, we got the special attack boost. All right, not complaining. Now, we have plus two special attacks, so I really want to stay in, but it all depends on what she sends out next. Goldeen. Sending out a Goldeen. We can stay in against a Goldeen. We can absolutely stay in against a Goldeen. Oh, Endeavor. But you're at full health. You're at full health, I'm at half health, so that's not going to do anything for you. And nice, we one-shot the Goldeen with our special attack boosts. Very good job, Voldemort. But again, I think it's time to go back and heal. Ooh, and there's a Marsh Shadow over here at the beginning now, too, so that was absolutely something that we could have encountered. Whatever. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. It replaces that Carcoal and goes so, so fast. Oh, there's more NDD. Alright, let's keep going. Wow, look at that thing. It's having a good time just flying around over there. <laughs> And there's a Woobat, too. I think that's there normally, though. I don't think you could catch that one. I think that's just part of the background. Huh. I kind of want to get that item. I don't want to fight that trainer, though. So, yeah, turn your head. We're going to sneak by. Ah! Getting past those bears is the toughest thing. Oh, heavy-duty boots. Again, I don't think it's going to be too useful to us right now, but it's cool to have. And, oh, my gosh, there's another one. All right, let's keep going. I think we're almost out. Oh, Ooh, there's a big fight coming up over here. That's why the game gives us super potions. I say, you're gonna need them. All right, I made the promise to use the weaker members of my team today. I know going into this battle, that's probably not gonna be the best idea. Beat is gonna be like Hop and I have a full team of six and all they need, oh wow, we don't even have any Auron Berries to give to my Pokemon. I guess I'll give you the Cherry Berry just in case. But all we really need to run into trouble is this guy to have like one legendary Pokemon. So this is probably a silly decision, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, we're gonna challenge ourselves. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with the Wishing Star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Ah, I love this battle theme. 
really, really do. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Bead, who's leading off with a Pelipper. Okay, that works out really well for me. I like this matchup with Voldemort. What level are you going to be at, though? Oh, Drizzle Pelipper. Not too fun at all, but oh, 14. All right, I'm glad we didn't swap things up then. If it's only a level 14 Pelipper, we're good. So we'll go for Charge Beam. Quad super effective. Give us the special attack boost, though. Nice, we got the special attack boost. And you're going for Accupressure. All right, what does that do? That raises a random stat, right? Yeah, okay, raises your speed sharply. What are you going to do with that speed boost, though? Fishius Rends! Fishius Rends! Wait, wait, oh my gosh, that thing almost took me out! And we missed! And we missed! Just like that, it turned the battle around. Okay! Forget Mr. Fish being a threat, Pelipper with Fishius Rends! That's the problem here. Alright, so we're absolutely gonna bring out Hermione. Hermione resists Fishius Rend all day. But again, it could have a flying type move, which might create a problem for us. Wow, that is so strong. It is rain boosted, but still, that is so strong. We'll just have to see. Accupressure again. I, I don't think this is going to do anything. Unless it gets like an evasion boost, which I don't even know if it could get one. Yeah, special defense. We're going to knock this thing out. Right? No? Hermione, come on now. Pluck. Well, good thing Hermione doesn't have a berry. I would be so mad if it ate my orange berry, healed itself up, and was able to live a headbutt just because I gave this thing an orange berry. All right, Pelipper down. That was actually surprisingly difficult. Very surprisingly difficult, and the rain stops, so we're starting fresh. What's your next Pokemon gonna be? Pancham. All right, I don't think we have to worry about this thing. I think the best option here would absolutely be to bring in Gryffindor. Gryffindor, again, that Aerial Ace is really coming in handy. It, basically, this Pokemon super counters. I was not expecting Bug Buzz, but that would have been smart to use in Hermione. Anyway, this Pokemon like super counters fighting types. They can't hit us with their fighting type moves, and we can hit them right back with a super effective flying type move. Is that all you have, Panchan? Come on now. All right, one more aerial ace should do it, and it's still just trying to bug buzz at me. Now, your next Pokemon. Ooh, Weavile, one of my favorites. And it's also strong. Now, its defenses are awful, but, uh, hmm. I think Gryffindor is actually going to be okay here. We'll go for that Fury Cutter. We'll absolutely go for the Fury Cutter. It might go for a super... Yeah, that that's worrying. 6 HP. 6 HP. And we're not getting anywhere near knocking this thing out. Oh, wow, he still has four Pokemon counting that Weavile? My team is not looking too good right now. Oh, no, this is another one where... <laughs> again, everybody but Ron has problems here. We could bring Ron in, but oh, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage to me. It's gonna do a lot of damage to me with foul play, because our attack stat is really high. But this is what we have to do. Uh, come on, Ron. Oh, wow. Um, guys, what? This is not a good situation. Yeah, nobody can swap into this right now. I'm assuming it also has an Ice-type move, and if that's true, we can't bring in Norbert, we definitely can't bring in Voldemort, he would die to a switch, we can't bring back Gryffindor, we can't bring Hermione in, Ron's gonna die, and Willow's gonna take a super effective one, so this is not looking too good for me. I think... I think we have to make a sacrifice here. We just picked up those super potions, we have to heal somebody up, so they can take out... this. Yeah, there's really no winning in this situation. There's nobody I could bring in. I'm trying to think of any other way I could do this. But if I switch into anybody else, they'll just die or I'll be in the same exact situation again where it'll be like I have to make a tough decision. So I'm going to heal up Gryffindor. And I think this is unfortunately going to be the end of Ron. No, Ron! This was the starter that you guys chose, and I'm sorry that he had to go out this way. Been with us for a really long time, and just to see Ron go like that, that's awful. You will be missed, Ron. Alright, Gryffindor's up now. We're gonna try Gryffindor again. I know that Fury Cutter can do a lot of damage to it. Yeah, I think Fury Cutter's our best option here. We need to hit, and hopefully- Ooh, Fake Tears? Are you crying for Ron? Are you feeling mercy right now? Yes! Yes, this is what it needs to do! Wow! Wow, I don't know why you did that move, but I'll take it! Let's go for Fury Cutter again and get this- Yes! Yes, 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 yes! 
Wow, I didn't think it would just stop attacking me like that. So that's how we could get out of this situation. I don't know why you would do that. All I need to do is foul play and we would have been back into a very dangerous spot again, but that's okay. That's all right. Ooh, Drizzile. The green Drizzile. This thing looks freaky. I really wish Hermione had a grass attacking move. I would feel so comfortable switching into Hermione right now against this thing. But I think uh, Willow is going to be the best choice here. So let's bring out Willow. Wow. Wow, our first death was Ron. Big... <laughs> I just find that so funny. That's the item you're holding? This Drizzile is secretly Hal from the Alola region. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Branch Poke. Don't have- Ooh, Max Geyser! Another one of those Max moves! But is this gonna do insanely low damage too? Yeah, that's so weird! So these Pokémon can have Max moves, but they'll only do one damage. I'll have to look into that, because if they know Max moves like that and they only do one damage... Well, that's unfair. That's definitely unfair. All right, Gryffindor got a level up. Ooh, Flygon. Shiny Flygon! That's a cool shiny. I think this is where Will-O-Wisp is gonna come in candy. If we could hit this thing with the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, Air Slash is going for the special attacking moves. We can take it though, good. We can definitely take it. Good, and we are gonna hit. That is 75 accuracy. So that will absolutely miss when you really want it to hit. Seems like we gotta bring Gryffindor back in. I would love to get a Leech Seed on it too. I probably, in hindsight, I probably should've went for the Leech Seed first, but I was assuming this thing was gonna be more of a physical attacker. Maybe it'll have some physical attacks it'll use on me and it'll be worth it. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? This thing is also part ground type. Well, if it goes for Earthquake, we should be able to live that. If it has Earth Power, on the other hand, we might be in some trouble. This might have been a very dumb move. We'll see how this plays out for me. I guess we just gotta roll with it. Come on, Gryffindor. We gotta hope, we gotta pray to the RNG gods- Ooh, Dragon Dance. Well, if you don't have any physical moves, that's not gonna do much. It's gonna raise your attack, it's gonna raise your speed, but we need to see something we can actually use it for before I'm too worried about it. But yeah, we just gotta pray to the Poke Gods again that this thing doesn't have a good ground-type attacking move. Let's see what you got. Ooh, Bone Rush. Bone Rush. Ooh, okay. Yeah, do- do that. Do that. That's not that much damage. How many times is it gonna hit us? Twice, good. I'm just worried about Bone Rush doing more damage next time, like a crit or something, but I think we're okay right now. Burning it does seem like a good decision right now. Come on, come on, Gryffindor. It only does seven damage each hit. Okay. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. Stop, stop, stop. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly what we needed. Now, is Shadow Sneak enough here? I don't know, we're gonna use our second super potion here just in case, just in case it's not enough. I'll feel more comfortable knowing that Gryffindor is gonna get through this turn unless it gets some miracle critical hit with Bone Rush right now. We should be okay. All right, one hit, just stop at two. Just stop at two. That's it, stop, 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 good. Good, 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 good. And now we can absolutely knock it out with the Shadow Sneak. Now it's definitely in KO range. All right, Bead, time to get this shiny Flygon out of here. Wow, look at all that EXP. That's definitely not 20%, unless it just gives an insane amount of EXP normally. I don't know, it seems like it messed up there. All right, and now Bead is on his final Pokemon. What is it gonna be, Bead? Oh, just a Pichu? That's it? Ooh, the spiky-eared Pichu makes its comeback. Look at that, it's so cute. So cute, I almost feel bad taking it out, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's hit him with the Shadow Sneak. Pichu's definitely not the bulkiest Pokemon, so I think two of these should be able to take it out just fine. Static is gonna paralyze me, though. Let's hope that doesn't become annoying. Skill Swap. Well, thank you for giving me Static, I guess. All right, let's just not get fully paralyzed and we win the battle. There we go. There we go. We made it, guys. But we lost Ron. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that this battle would be the battle that we lose somebody in. Because we didn't go in with our strongest Pokémon, but I wanted a challenge. I'm just disappointed that out of all the Pokémon it could have been, it was unfortunately... Ron, the starter. So, let's say goodbye to Ron right now. It's almost like he was mocking me that he sent in the Flygon after Ron fainted. He's like, this is what you could have been if you survived for a long time. But unfortunately, Ron, you will join the death box. Now, I'm not going to release my Pokemon. I feel like that's a little too cruel, but we'll retire them to box eight when they die. So taking its place, I think I'll put Cedric on the team for now. But if we get something cool on, I think this is Route 4 coming up, then we'll replace it right away. Ooh, let's get this item in the corner, though. 
a bag of stardust. All right, well, that mine was definitely an adventure. We saw some very cool Pokemon. Marshadow in there was kind of cool. And let's see what Route 4 is going to give to us. But first, let's talk to you and heal up. I love that these people are here. Now, I, after seeing that Primarina in there, I really want a Primarina. So hopefully, what is, no, that's a Pichu kid. That's a Pikachu kid. Oh, Gastrodon! I think that was the first Pokemon that popped up, right? Yeah, we can't get another one of those Hone Edges anyway. So I think Gastrodon is our encounter. I love that cry. I can't exactly do that cry, but I like it. It's pretty funny how at this point we've run into so many members of the Aegislash family. We just haven't seen Aegislash yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and start weakening this thing. I'm actually pretty okay with this encounter. It's a ground type and it's a water type, so this definitely feels a little niche. You gotta do me like that. Why? Why? Why go for recover on the first turn? But anyway, salty Mike aside, it definitely feels a little niche right now that my team desperately needs. Cover some types that we just don't cover right now, so I'm okay with this. Let's go for another confusion right here. Pray that it does not go for recover. Keep that damage. Why? Alright, we're gonna try weakening this thing with Willow, and I feel very good now that it just used Harden to raise its defense. I didn't think a branch poke would kill it at full health anyway, even though it's quad super effective. But with that up, I think we're very good. Oh, maybe it would have killed it at full health. I'm very glad it went for Harden. I, if it didn't go for Harden, I might have just killed my encounter there. Ooh, confused. That might get annoying if we don't catch it on the first try. I do have some uh, net balls though. These are supposed to work better on water types like you, so please, be a first ball catch. Come on, come on, almost there, and we got him. Alright, we're gonna name this Gastrodon Slughorn after Professor Slughorn from, I think it was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, I think. So yeah, you are immediately going to the party. Unfortunately, we gotta put Cedric away. Bye-bye, Cedric, and Slughorn will join the team. Ooh, what's this? Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. Oh, my. Are you okay? You took that tackle head on. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challengers are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. So you know what that means, my friends. We finally made it to the first gym. I can't believe that it took this long to make it all the way out there. So I think I'm going to save this gym for the next episode. Once we enter that town, first things first, I'm going to try to get an encounter. I think there's another little fishing spot we could go to. What is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> there's another Necrozma. Necrozma's coming out to say hello to me. So like I was saying, next time we're going to jump into Turf Field. We're going to get an encounter and we're going to go fight against that gym. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave your condolences for Ron down in the comment section below. And my friends, I'll see you next time in episode 5.